While the train is being placed on pit line, undergear staff will attend pit rolling in examination to have an idea of rake before starting maintenance. After placing rake on pit line, rake will be secured by pointsman. Before the start of examination, danger board will be kept for securing the line. Scotch blocks were kept and padlocked for additional safety. Every trip, cleaning and greasing of buffer face plates is must, which decreases friction between face plates. Grease is also applied at guide way of luggage store for easy movement. Coming to maintenance, staff are divided on both sides and pit along with the tools and gauges. Let's see pit center examination. Draba support plate and bolts and buffer plate bolts are to be checked for slackness. Check for handbrake lever arrangement bolts. Check for drawbar to headstock connecting pin. Checking of draft pads and draft bolt slackness. Checking of brake rigging arrangement like straight lever, jet shaped lever, hanger lever and connecting link along with that lever bolt slackness. Keenly observe for any loose axle between hub and journal. Checking of brake cylinder bed bolt slackness. Checking of ankle link and ankle link bolt missings. Checking of bolster spring suspension hangers along with that bolster coil spring for any cracks and breakages. Check for equalizing stay for any cracks and also must ensure the condition of its split pin. Quarter and split pin can be painted for easy identification. Similarly, check center pivot cover, its bolts and also look for any cracks at its base. Brake beam and its safety wire rope to be checked. Also check for center pivot piston to handbrake connections. Marshalling of brake blocks is the daily routine work in maintenance. This helps the proper usage of brake blocks up to its condemnation size 12mm. 
This practice is very useful to reduce the wheel defects like sharp flange, less road radius and formation of false flange. Piston stroke length can be adjusted with piston stroke gauge in brake applied condition and check for slackness at brake block in brake release condition. GS and SLRs will be provided with piston stroke length of 38 to 40 mm by taking into the consideration of overloading to avoid brake binding. To restrict unwanted movements of any parts due to ballast hitting, cattle runover or oscillations, APDs are being used. Soul bar and channels are to be checked for corrosion and cracks. Also check trough floor for the presence of any holes. Generally, lavatory areas are prone to corrosion due to water seepages. Air brake pipes are to be thoroughly checked for corrosion throughout the length of the coach. Check battery box condition and its channels and fasteners. While examining DV, mainly observe the isolating handle position and QRV knob and its wire rope. And also check the air tank, particularly look at the condition of safety straps and its nut slackness and dry out cock condition and its APD. When it comes to bio tank, check for condition of bio tank channels, mounting brackets and its fasteners. Check wire rope brackets weld failures and wire rope for slackness. Make sure that all the APDs are intact. Check for side bearer condition for oil leakages. Check thoroughly the rear portion of primary spring and axle box guide for any cracks and grazing of axle box assembly to the wheel. Inspect the trolley frame from inside for any cracks and for corrosion. Before coupling the hose pipes, checking the condition of MU washers is must. Tying the double trimming wire to hose pipe parments in robust fashion and this avoids uncoupling in mid section. Additional screw coupling should be placed in its hanger and secure with trimming wire. Work 
making screw coupling stockel also should secure while checking headstock area mainly concentrate on drawbar support plate buffer plunger casing bio tank and the respective fasteners check hose pipe condition for any rubber perishment examine condition of screw coupling and its components for any damages at this particular place check for fault plate and its split pin which is also a safety item Let's see sideway checking. This covers outside portion of buffer and its bolts, bio tank bolts and its safety wire rope. When it comes to trolley, ensure brake beam hanger and its pin and cotter condition. Check for primary spring cracks and dashboard oil leakages. Examine footboard for any corrosion, welding failure and if any bending. Also check for axle box grease oozing and axle box clearance. Ensure the condition of anchor link and its bolts. Examine bolster springs for breakages. Check for vertical shock absorber condition and any oil leakages from inside and also check for lower spring plank and bss hangers for cracks and also observe for any wear and tear of hanger blocks and bss pins brake cylinder bed bolts are painted in such a fashion that pit side technician can also check the condition from outside Checking marks are also provided on AR tank nuts and DV pet bolts. Pit side technician can easily knows its condition. Examine turn under condition as it is highly prone to corrosion. Checking marks are also provided on jet lever bolts so that the sideway technician can have a look on it. 